What is up guys, and welcome back to Game Time. My name is Texas, and this is episode 6 of our Minecraft Survival Server. Let's get moving. <laughs> yeah. Hello everybody. It's a new week, it's a new day. I'm getting started with some building. Over the course of the weekend, I did a whole bunch of exploring, and I managed to find the two biomes that I was looking for, the Badlands biome. Oh my god, yes! Yes! Woo! And the Mushroom biome. Uh, yes! Oh, nine hours! Nine hours! Oh! So, I have now got all of the materials that I need to finish all of my biospheres. Everything is going to get done this episode, swearsies. Except for maybe the enormous glass balls. Those take forever. We have now got a completely mycelium-covered island. And I've done a few janky-looking custom mushrooms I'll probably be working on later on. But, uh, yeah. This whole mushroom biome is looking pretty nice now, with everything covered up. So all that's left is to get a whole bunch of stained glass and start making the orb for this one. I think I'm probably going to go for brown. I know it sounds gross, it probably looks bad, but we'll, we'll see what it looks like. It'll be better than clear, I think. And, uh, yeah, then this mushroom biome is going to be pretty much complete. But, moving on, I'm kind of dying to get this god darn desert biome finished up. These little cracks of just normal look so terrible when you're looking at it as a whole. So I think the first order of business is to use the terracotta and red sand blocks that I've found in the Badlands to redesign this crevice. Get out of here. You're not a cactus. Alrighty, uh, well, let's get into it. I have got to say, I have been really looking forward to this moment when I can finally make this map look good. Oh yeah, there we go, there's the purple coming in. Oh yeah, yeah, that looks so much better. Oh man, it's almost a bummer that these are going to wind up covering it up. Now it's just the last one, the big one. <laughs> but before we even move into any of the jungle stuff, there's the matter of all these buildings here that I need to get rid of. Oh, it's gonna be kind of sad. The two buildings that I've actually spent time and effort on so far are both gonna just come down. I've been trying to think like, can this work? Can I like just redesign this so that it, works as some sort of like, I don't know, research hut or, or some sort of like barnyard thing. And I, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I might be able to do something with this one, but definitely not the library. The library looks completely out of place. So it's just a matter of taking them all down, getting rid of this unnecessary farmland here. Yeah. And then doing the last bit of terraforming before we start jungling this place up. Ooh, let's get into it.
Now, if you remember, I was saying that I was going to have two different biomes in this biosphere, and I just can't bring myself to make a tundra biome as well. It just doesn't seem doesn't seem right to have a hot, humid jungle biome in the same bubble as a cold, dry tundra biome. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, I am going to make the second biome in this area be a lush caves biome and start getting into the 1.17 blocks and, uh, and dig myself out a cave, which is why I've brought myself my beacon over to the uh, the biosphere here and this entrance and this entrance are both going to connect up underground and uh, we're going to have a lush caves biome which makes total sense in a high humid forest or a jungle biome so uh yeah let's let's get to it i'm looking forward to getting some blueberries growing up Hey, so this is a good skeleton for how this uh, biome is going to look. Um, I've filled it all out with the water. I've gotten rid of most of the random diorite and uh, filled it in with stone. But now it's time to bring in glowberries, drip leaves, and the moss. I'm gonna have to deck this out. I'd like to rely solely on plant life and natural light sources to try and light it up. Yeah, we're gonna get some sea pickles and, and we're gonna light it up. Let's give it a go. This is starting to look quite good. Everything's looking very lively. Just need to wait for some of these vines to grow in a little bit more and for a sugar cane to grow up. And this is gonna be quite a nice little biome area here. And super easy, unless you have mobs show up, but super easy to collect uh, glowberries from any of these. So also an excellent little uh, farm area. All right, there are only a few more pieces left to be put together inside of this biosphere before it is going to be functionally complete. Um, I want to put in a melon farm and a pumpkin farm. I'm thinking about building a waterfall over in this corner. I need to finish off the trail and place the ring down on the ground in actual blocks. And uh, then there's going to be something of a centerpiece here. I'm thinking I want to make a proper custom tree custom jungle tree inside the center so we're gonna get to work on that and then after this is done we can start thinking about finishing off the orbs and then man this this farming district has taken a long time but it's coming together it's coming together I have melons, I have pumpkins, I have mm, cocoa beans, but where to put them? Well, I'll tell you where I'm going to put them. As I've already said, my 
town is going to be controlled by the market guild and as such it seems only proper that there are going to be a number of different stores and buildings which are going to be selling items around my base. This is going to be the first of the buildings holding all the items that I'm going to be harvesting from my jungle biosphere. I'm thinking I'm going to make buildings like this one in all the biospheres. They'll have sort of a thematic tie to their biosphere. And inside, I'm going to hold all the items that I harvest from those spheres. And they're going to be available for my friends to come and collect or purchase. This is looking nice. Yeah. like when I'm building I just make noises all right well things are looking a lot better all of the biospheres are now for the most part completed I need to make uh, a few adjustments to these I think that'll be made once the fauna starts being brought in I think for the rest of this episode the bit that uh, needs work is now the funnest part of all the spheres Oh, so much glass. Oh, so much glass. Yep, the spheres need to get done. They need to get done sometime. It might as well be now. <sighs> Time lapse mode. Activate! Um. Well, now with the dome covering over the mushroom biome, things are looking a lot better, but it's still looking incredibly dead just because there's such a small variation in, in the mushroom biome. So I think the thing that's really going to liven this up is getting an actual mushroom. So it is time to go and collect up some of the fauna for our biomes. And to help me with that, I am enlisting my good friend Pushkin. Gonna come around to the base, come check out some of our new builds, and then we are gonna go together out to the mushroom biome and collect two mushroom cows so that we can finally populate my little biosphere here. Oh hey! How's it going? What's up? Hey! Uh, you know, just a little bit of a, a little bit of building going on here. Oh yeah. Aggression has been made. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But I think uh, that the glowberries are like such a good choice for the vines. Thank you. Yes. Vines are good, but I think glowberries they're just a they're just a. Well, I, yeah, no, it just I becomes such a dark. It becomes so hard to see any of the details on the tree if you don't have some light in there, and then I've had these perfect vines to oh, go yeah. in there and also keep things lit up. Dude. This lush cave, though. Thank you. It's yeah. sweet. Totally yeah. customized. Yep, I think things worked out well. I Thumb used bro. only the only the natural lighting, the sea pickles and the glowberries. You know, if you um, oh, that's awesome. This is gonna be my little jungle store. I'm having trouble with the axe lot of Jungle store. Yeah, this is gonna be where um all of the items that I harvest from from the jungle are going to be sold. So if you ever want to come and get some bamboo or some nice. glowberries, this will have jungle wood in it, and then I think oh, I've got cocoa beans and stuff in here. So this Over is where here, I'll yeah. have... I like this. What is this? It's like a... It's a tripwire, but it kind of comes as a, like, um... Oh! 
right? Yeah, kind of looks like a looks like a little, little faucet, handle. little handle for the for the barrel. Yeah, yeah, I really like the scaffolding as like kind of interior design. Oh, mm -hmm. ooh, damn, cocoa farm. And then back here, I sort of have like a, a hanging planter on the back of this little cottage here. I thought it was a good little addition to the back. I always had trouble figuring out the back of builds, you know? Yeah. Oh, cool, that's nice. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have like I literally already have so many pumpkins and pumpkins. So. <laughs> yeah, no, you won't ever need to buy them, but it's kind of cool that they're if there. If you ever want to buy them from me, <laughs> then, uh, feel free to buy them from me. <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh. Mhm. Mm this mm -hmm. is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, I've never actually been to a Badlands biome in game ever. Really. Well, even though I think they're the coolest thing ever, they are pretty cool I biome. Need to go to the, the one you found. Then come see my mushroom biome. Are you not impressed with my domes? Oh, this dome took a million years. Oh, so you found some mycelium. I That's finally cool. found a mushroom biome, and I made the mycelium. Nice. At long last, I made the the island of mycelium. The final and smallest of the like this. the ones. I've just got a little little end bubble there's only one crop so i have a a like That's planting sweet. um mm -hmm. spot down here and then specifically the harvest the flowers i've got a spot up there so that you can reach the the flowers up here mm -hmm. and harvest them there the purple yes and this is starting to look right really interesting oh in the uh, for most of them here. yeah that big cool. one's the jungle you, biome. you're gonna make a dome over the jungle right yeah no this brown dome, dome took me like five hours to make the <laughs> dome it was such a hassle like oh seriously figuring out circles <laughs> yeah this one's way bigger and it's made of yellow glass so that's gonna take forever and then i've already got my cactus farm going so i'll have the green to make the green glass for the jungle but mm -hmm. like it's still a nightmare any... little bench the bench yep. is definitely uh the highlight thank you for me. yeah no it's a good yeah, the, it's a good uh, bench this is oh, yeah, yeah, sort of like a freaking sheeps yep all the various colors of sheep i'm leaving out black and gray is just because this is obviously a very colorful space and then in here i will have the omega sheep soon Omega? The Omega Sheep. I don't you, know what... you, you will see. The Jeb, the Jeb the Sheep. sheep now, witness the birth of the Omega Sheep. Oh. I'm going to have sort of another little farming shop in here that will sell all of my, Ooh, uh, hole, my farming area um, stuff. Nice. I'll sell my carrots and beets and wheat in here. All right, are you ready to go on an adventure <laughs> to the moose room biome? Let's do it. We've got some flying to do. Derp, 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 derp. Oh, what the frick? No, okay. The chunks just hadn't loaded in. I thought this mountain range was like completely floating. Mm. Uh, do you want to just hit this shipwreck? Real quick. I haven't seen a sideways one in a long time. Honestly, after going end raiding, I don't get excited about seeing anything in game anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, but there's nothing going to be good at that, that portal or... You know, yeah, that, nothing that good enough, specific. really. Right. <laughs> the one thing that I nothing really want from these is I want the Heart of the Seas. So the buried treasure maps are useful. Mm. There we go, perfect. Let's head back to the uh, shipwreck. Yeah, I'll meet you there. Shipwreck. So we should be hey. getting pretty close, eh? Right? Here it is, baby! Oh my god. The mushroom fields. Hey. You ready. get a you get a moosh in a in a in a boosh. In a oh, boat. Yeah, I got a moosh and a boosh over here. Okay, I've spotted my moosh. Oh, there, good sir. Would you like to get in my boosh? Get in there. Come on. I don't want to hit you. I want you to maintain there's as a, much health as possible. There's a bunch of mushroom right here. 
bunch of mushrooms right him. here, like right. Well, I got my lodestone compass, so I'm just gonna rip towards the lodestone. Oh, for perfect! I totally even I, I forgot to pull that out, so I'm just gonna follow you. But things are gonna be a little bit more complicated than just going in a straight line, unfortunately. I know that there's a giant landmass in the way, that there's only one little river to go through, and we may need to actually extend that river a little bit, which is why I have brought buckets. Oh yeah, we've got some mushroom cows. Oh god, driving this we in. We got a moosh and a boosh over here. We got, we got deuce moosh and we a boosh. We are mooshing with the mooshes. <laughs> it's a moosh party. Okay, I Turn a bit to the right don't here. know if this is the landmass land. I'm thinking of. I think it. I think this is the first landmass we have to get past, and I think the river is kind of like a little bit over this way. I don't know where you are. Oh, you're over there. Uh, bu 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 okay, yeah, no, we, we need to peel right a little bit. Come back around to where I am. Here we are. I have found the pass. Here we go. Another, come down to another ocean. Yeah, we have got another ocean to cross before we get to another landmass, and we have to cross that landmass before we get to our base. Uh, you're free. You can take the shulker box um, if you're just going to your base. Um, uh, here, actually, I've I've always wanted to okay. test this. I've got an idea. Now I don't know why, but for some reason my microphone started going very quiet. So I apologize in advance for the audio quality. You need to pick a place like kelp. Yeah. That's... Dope. Okay. Okay. Do you still have an ender pearl? And straight down. Straight down. Yes. So now I go back to my base? Yeah. Okay. Let me know when you get there. Wait, I'm ready whenever. My new handy dandy teleportation. Oh, really? Can bring you straight what? to my base. <laughs> and immediately drown you. What, what the heck is going on? Thanks for the world. <laughs> oh, okay, here I am. Oh my god. Shit. What's up? <laughs> hey man, you've got my shelter box. That's great. There it is. And just like that, you're here. Well, I gotta admit, I definitely underestimated the difficulty it would be to make these orbs. We have not even touched the jungle biomes green dome or the desert biomes yellow dome and we are completely out of time for this week oh man maybe i'll start punching through it on my own over the weekend but in the meantime i really want to get started on some of the more technical builds I'm really thinking I, I need to build myself a villager breeder and start getting my trading hall set up but those ideas are well they're next episode if you liked my video, please feel free to leave a thumbs up, and if you're new, hit that subscribe button. It really makes a huge difference to me, I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Game Talk.